like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 86 six says, which of the following is equivalent to root 32 plus root 200? Now, just for the sake of time, what I would do on this one is just type this into the calculator and you'll get a decimal equivalent for this. And then you could just type in each answer choice and see which one's equal. I mean, honestly, that's gonna be the best way to do this uh, since it is a multiple choice question. Um, as far as taking a multiple choice test, uh, you wanna take advantage of that calculator. But just to show you, you know, how you would do this without a calculator, I, don't, I wouldn't even do it this way. If, you know, if I'm taking the test, I'm just gonna type in those answer choices and see which decimal is logically equivalent. But I do want to kind of show you what they're, you know, how would you do this sort of the right way? Let's say it was a, an open-ended question. Um, so we have the square root of 32 plus the square root of 200. If we can get that square root to pop up, there we go. Um, and what we're going to try to do is try to simplify this. So to simplify a square root, what you need to do is come up with a perfect square factor that we can take the square root of. So like 32, I could rewrite that as 16 times 2. And I'm picking this combination strategically. You know, this is also, you know, 8 times 4. Um, a couple different ways we could write this. But 16 is going to be the largest perfect square that is a factor of 32. Uh, 200, we could rewrite that as 100 times 2. And, you know, like I said, you could write this as like 50 times 4 or 10 times 20. But none of those are the largest perfect square factor of the, the number under the radical. So once you rewrite it like this, you can now take the square root of the factors that you have. So we've got the square root of 16 is going to be 4. Um, so square, I'm going to take that out here and just write that as the square root of 16, which is 4. The square root of 100 is 10. And so now we've got 4 root 2 plus 10 root 2, and so we've got to add these two radicals together. Um, it's kind of like adding 4x plus 10x. You know, if you had 4x plus 10x, that would be 14x. And similarly, if we have 4 root 2 plus 10 root 2, we're going to end up with 14 root 2, uh, which is answer choice B. But again, I think the way to go here to avoid any arithmetic you know, mistakes, and the, you know, the easiest way to work this problem is just going to be to type in square root of 32 plus square root of 200 and figure out what the decimal is, and then just type the rest of these in until you get the decimal that's the same. And, you know, since it's B, you won't even have to go through all of them. Although, you know, couldn't hurt to do these other ones real quick just to make sure it is B. But, um, but yeah, that's how I would do it. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, number 86, the answer is B. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.